Hey guys! So this is the first video I am filming on my new camera, which means things might be a little bit funky because I'm still figuring it all out, so please be patient with me as we go on this journey through space and time and DSLR cameras. <laughs> also, I can see myself now when I film, which is mind-blowing for me because I haven't been able to see myself anytime when I filmed in the past, which makes it a lot harder than you might think because you have no clue what you all can see on screen, so. Let's get going. So what I'm gonna be doing right now is my winter favorites because it's almost finally spring. I am so excited for it to be nice out. Really, really, really always get bummed out during the winter months. It's really hard for me to not have a lot of sunlight out. So as soon as it starts getting brighter out more and sunnier out, I just feel so much better. But that being said, there were some items that of course helped me get through. I sound so cheesy right now. <laughs> There were some things that really, I think, helped me get through this winter season, so I wanted to share them all with you now, even though I'm realizing this is kind of like pointless now that it's nice out, but maybe it's winter where you are soon. Like, do you live in Australia? Let me know. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. I'm gonna like, I have a list, but it's not in any order. I'm just, I'm just gonna go in an order. All right, I'm gonna start with like clothes related things because I have a few of them. The first item I've had for like a few are these Lazy Oaf black mom jeans. I love these. I've never had mom jeans that I thought looked nice on me. They always like fit me really poorly. These fit so perfectly. They're so perfect at the waist and the hips and they're so comfortable. I'm so excited to wear them more in the spring with my sandals. But yes, I love these. They're so comfortable. They're so nice. The design, like all, they have like so many little things like a little tag, it's heart shaped. The button is heart shaped like, that's so cute. How dare you be this cute? I love these. I love all Lazy Oak jeans that I, I have two pairs. I love them. They're so comfortable. They're so nice. I, I'm, in, I'm in focus still. This has been my life right now. I was like, am I in focus? Also, God, this is, I can see myself. Okay. Another thing that's helped me get through the winter months are some mittens. <laughs> Oh, so these are actually mittens I got during the Vancouver 2010 Olympics. I got to go see the Olympic Village and everything like all set up and it was very cool in Vancouver. And my mom, and both my parents actually grew up in Vancouver. My mom's technically from a North fan, but I'm gonna count it. So it was like a very, very cool thing to have the Olympics there. And these mittens are so comfortable. They keep my hands so toasty warm because I hate having cold hands. So I like wearing these as I like walk to school and stuff. I do a lot of walking. And then my last are very heavy. I forgot how heavy they are. Are my boots. Um, oh, they look muddy. I love these boots. They are Timberlands. Oh gosh, the logo is so faded. I'm, they're Timberlands. I'm pretty sure I got them two years ago now. I wear these too often, almost every day. They're warm and they're waterproof. They are really, really durable, so I can wear them like outside, I can wear them inside, and they don't like look gross. <laughs> they look like nicer work boots and I really like that. I originally got them when I was doing house cleaning because there'd be times when I'd be doing like yard work outside in the fall and like washing stuff and it'd be so cold and my shoes would get wet and then I'd have to walk home and it'd just be the worst. I think I actually got them as a gift. They're wonderful. A good pair of sturdy boots is just so good, especially when it's really, really cold out and especially if they can be like a bit fashionable, that's also really nice as well. So that's all my like clothes clothes. One thing that technically isn't clothing, but I, I wear. Oh, my glasses. I love these. They're from I think it's called Fimo, Fermo Online, which is just like an online glasses retailer. You can get your prescription. I love them. I get so many compliments on them. People are like, wow, those are very like merry glasses. I'm like, yes, yes they are. I love them. <laughs> my glasses, definitely a favorite that I got this winter. They have been so, so great. Other thing is I finally got a pair of wireless headphones. I am one of those people <laughs> who has the iPhone 7 without a headphone jack. So I was using my old head, I, oh, and I last soccer con, I left my proper headphones that you can use with this type of phone at the Airbnb we stayed at. I never got them back, sad story, but I had been using other headphones just with a little like a dongle, I don't know what people call it, the little attachment thing. Finally got a pair of Bluetooth headphones, incredibly worth it. I don't super like that they're the ones that like go inside your ear, cause that makes me like, Kind of squeamish, but these have been just so nice. The sound quality is pretty good. I think they were the cheapest option that exists of them on Amazon because I am a cheap 
person for the most part. <laughs> yes, a favorite. I'm liking them. So what am I listening to with them? That transition though. I can't even show you that I'm wearing a melodrama hoodie. Lord's Melodrama has been my album of the season. It is so good. It is so good. I almost wish I had listened to it sooner, but it came at like a perfect point in my life and I was like, wow, this is what I've been going through. This is like, this is so good. It is so, so good. So poetic. So many bangers. I love Supercut. Uh, I love the Louvre. So good. So yes, she came and played near me and I didn't get to go, which was very, very, very sad. But I'm hoping I'll get to see her perform in the future. She's an amazing artist. Other things I have been listening to. Sorry, I have my list now because <laughs> I want to make sure I say everything right. Um, podcast wise, I've been listening to two kind of new ones on and off. One is We Don't Talk About Brexit, which is a podcast one of the people I used to work with is making. It's a bunch of British people all joking around about news articles that week's news. It's pretty funny. They have two episodes out now and a couple more, I think, on SoundCloud. So you can check them out if you like hear some accents and some ridiculous news. I also listen to the entire Heaven's Gate podcast, which is a, um, I think, 13 or 9 that's, those are very different numbers. Episode podcast about Heaven's Gate, which was a religious cult. So if you are curious or interested in cults, maybe check it out. I know sometimes I'm very weird, guys. I feel like my aesthetic is very like, look at all these cute, happy things and positivity. Then I'm like, murder mysteries and, and cults. This is what fascinates my mind. <laughs> like, what? And it's really good. I, I was worried at first about how they would frame everything on it, but it's it's done very well and it's some, it's done in a very respectful way as well, which I really liked. Um, so if it's something that you're kind of interested in, would highly recommend. Like the production quality is great. It's easy to listen to. So continuing on with media kind of, there's been a show I've been really into. No anime this season, sadly. Where have I been? I watched the entire first season and four episodes into the second season of Twin Peaks. It is so good. I ran out of time basically because I've been insanely busy this quarter with all my classes and with work, but it is such a good show. It is so weird and like pleasantly weird. I just, I enjoyed it so much. I would recommend it to anyone who likes surreal surrealism and um, murder mysteries and just really great characters. Like I love the characters. Uh, it also takes place in the Pacific Northwest, which is where I live. So I'm like, I've been to that waterfall. <laughs> I know where that is. <laughs> yes, if, if you want to know what it's like outside, kind of where I live. <laughs> Different form of media. Now again, some books. So my roommate lent me the book Graceling and I love it. It is such young adult fantasy fiction. It's so good. Such an easy read. It is, it's like the font's pretty big. I read it all basically in one weekend. I just got super into it. It has a great romantic plot, nice characters. I like them all. Um, I bought the second book. I have not been able to have time to read it yet. This is what I'm reading over spring break though, if I had some time. So yes, this is like, it's, a, it's technically a trilogy, but I know the second book and the third book aren't like following the same characters. They just kind of take place in the same universe from what I understand. But yes, would recommend if you want some easy teen, young adult fiction. And then I still am using Audible. So the audiobook I was listening to, I guess the two audiobooks I listened to over winter were The Tipping Point by Malcolm Gladwell and Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. I love listening to Malcolm Gladwell. He has just such wonderful speaking voice. He also has a podcast um, and he just takes a lot of interesting information about statistics and how kind of our world works and makes really interesting books about them. So if you want audiobooks or podcasts to listen to because he does podcasts too, would recommend, do enjoy quite a bit. So because this camera is here, I cannot have it be one of my favorites, but I'm gonna give both my old camera and my new camera a little favorites shout out. I've been using this one for about two years. I'm gonna keep using it. This will just be like a vlogging travel camera because it's much smaller. But yes, this camera has treated me very well and I am very excited about using this one, which I got at a pretty good deal. It is an older model and I bought it off eBay off someone else. But yes, eBay is a great place to look for DSLRs. You can find a lot of like packaged 
deals with different lenses and different other goodies, batteries, and stuff like that. All right, stopped recording. Let's see if it'll keep recording for a while or it just, this will be a real adventure for me. Okay, so another thing that is my one of two food related ish things is David's tea, the peppermint crush. Yes, this is just so good. It's black tea with peppermint. I have it with milk and a little bit of like honey or sweetener. Very, very nice, very minty fresh. I really, really enjoy this and I would highly recommend it for anyone. Um, oh, but I don't know if it's still available because I think it's one of the Christmas teas, but I just, I love David's tea. I would recommend anyone try out any of their teas because I think they're really great, especially if you are into teas or more like dessert, desserty teas. This is my dessert hand motion. I also have been loving the uh, white cheddar Cheez-Its, except I didn't mean to buy Grooves. I bought these by accident today. They're not as good. Just get the regulars. I love Cheez-Its. I wasn't allowed to have Cheez-Its as a kid. My mom was very like anti-snack food if, if it wasn't fruit, which like I, I, get, I get for the most part. But now I'm like, I can eat the snack food. So it's, <laughs> it's great. Where'd I put the other one? Oh, I had gotten an order of Defino candy from Lofty Pursuits. This is a pack of candy that they sell that's basically just like a mixed bag of all of their ones that have kind of like fallen apart. Am I in focus? Yeah. Um, these are so good. Their candy is so good. Okay, I think I'm in focus again. What am I doing? I love these. Their candy is so, so, so good. Um, also, their YouTube videos are amazing. I guess this is like my YouTube channel of the month is watching Lofty Pursuits make candy. Great. Beautiful. My other things are my pin collection. Should I just, oh, am I? Also my background, I love my new background, but I've been loving collecting pins. I really kind of got into this over, I guess the winter and the fall, but look at all these, they're all so cute. I love them all. Oh yes, so they get to hang out back here. Just my hair is too big the world and I have one other thing which is my holographic nail polish um this is ooh, from Emily Damali and it is called chase the charmed it is like a pinky nude hollow nail color I really like it it's probably what I've worn the most over this winter and now I got some red going on because it matches melodrama <laughs> Also, like, I'm wearing so much pink. This vest, it's it's reversible. Usually I wear this side out, but I'm like, I'm wearing too much pink, but you, it's still all you see when I have this part. Like, but, yeah, I'm wearing a lot of pink. I like the color pink. I think looking around, that, that is everything. Oh, shout outs to Sticky, Sticky Pack, the Sticky Club Packs. I love getting stickers every month. It's great. Um, Sakura Khan is this month. I'm really excited. I don't know how I'm going to get all my costume done, but it's going to happen somehow. <laughs> Stay tuned for more on that. Uh, but I hope that you all had a fantastic winter. What were your some, what were some of your, what am I saying? What were some of your favorite products this winter? Did you have any specific favorite foods or clothing items? Maybe some good soups. I feel like soup in the winter is like a great time to be had. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you want to see any of my past favorites videos, I hope the playlist in the info right there and also as an end card. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like or subscribe if you would like to see more. Especially with this camera, tell me what you think. Do I need to fix... Do I need to fix the things? Oh god. Oh, this looks so... Look at me. Look at me. I feel so cute right now. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.